How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. So today I've got an individual training session as well as something that I want to talk about in regards to breaking in new football boots. I tend to do that a lot just because I go through boots pretty often. My feet are pretty wide so on the outside it tends to break or I'm playing aggressively enough in them that the studs break or something else like that. The upper splits from the sole plate etc etc. So we're going to talk about that and then we're going to get a good training session in and that That'll be the video. So let's hop into it, guys. All right, so since I'm back at the home pitch of Fremantle, I'm going to see if I can get into here because I am a coach, so I should. Oh, magic. Okay. There's a little lockbox and a key. So hopefully I can get some extra equipment. I only have, ooh, that is really dark. Backlit, yeah baby. Okay, so now that I have this all sorted, going this way, see if I can get, this is much more difficult one-handed than you might expect. So let me set the camera down. Okay. Unlock. Okay, no promises coming in here. I actually have no idea what's in here. Ooh. Okay, so there are goals and net and some of those little mannequin things. So I might actually grab a few of these goals on the ground, maybe a cone or two, and then one of the nets because as you can see from out there, um, I only have one ball and that's one of those things that I just well, I don't really have a choice because I only have one. So we're gonna grab this equipment, get it out there, and I'll see you guys for warm up in just a sec. business when looking at breaking in a new pair of boots so in my case I'm actually kind of going against what I said in the previous videos um, I had some weird situation where uh, the company that was shipping me the Puma Ultras just like didn't figure their stuff out and I don't have time to wait around for them so I'm gonna try them on I will let you guys know how the true to size fits and feels but from now on, I will be wearing the Vapors because I actually really enjoy wearing these. Um, they do take a lot of time to break in for me, which is appropriate for this video, obviously, explaining how the ooh, shoes break in. Ooh, those are mighty tight. Um, but it will be helpful for you guys, hopefully moving forward, in case you guys have to break in a pair of shoes really quickly. Um, you guys can figure out how to do. So step number one is I always warm up and or train with the laces untied first, especially with a shoe that's so tight on my foot. Um, it's really, really important to have a little bit of space in there so that you're, this is a, oh, I'm wearing grip socks too, so probably not the best idea. Um, so step number one would be to make sure that you're wearing um, your lace is untied at least for the first little portion so that the material can kind of warm up and get a little bit more flexible around your foot. So that's step number one. Let's start training. All right, guys, first things first, a little bit of warm up. Sorry if it's super windy right now. It's uh, tried flying the drone a little bit and it is mighty windy. So I'll try to get some good shots for you guys. Um, but let's grab into the, let's get into the warm up. All right, fam, so in this clip, all I'm doing is getting a dynamic warm up in. I think it's super important. Make sure that your body's warm. I know I say this almost every single training video, but I cannot stress it enough. I know a lot of players who have gotten muscle injuries from doing 
a extensive workout without warming up properly, making sure that everything is ready to go. And so just make sure you're getting warm. Obviously take about 10, 15 minutes. If you need more time than that, absolutely go for it. Never be afraid to say, hey, look, I need this warm up time and I'm ready to go after that. All right, tip number two is make sure you wear really thin socks. I'm not taking my own advice on this one because I'm wearing like kind of thick socks right now and it's already starting to hurt my feet in the warm up. So um, definitely wear thin socks if you can. I might actually swap out for a pair of like dress socks that I have here. So might, might, <laughs> might wear those for the session, we'll see. But let's get into some dynamic stretches. Really, really important to make sure that you're limbering up, especially in your hip area before getting into a training session. I always preach this because I think it's super important. So let's do that and then we'll hop into the ball work. All right, so this clip is the world's greatest stretch, and then I have some hip mobility stuff, and then some hamstring opening exercises. I think it's really important before getting into a workout. Open up those hips. just a little weaving in and out of cones right foot left foot inside outside roll over I'm gonna do a couple other ones but that's the idea through the cones and then you got one to the right one to the left a little uh, acceleration outwards after you get out of the cones training so all it takes is take it off wiggle your toes around a little bit make sure it's not super tight obviously right now I'm experiencing a little bit of hot spots on the outside of my foot but such as life with vapors it takes me about two sessions to actually break them in fully before they don't hurt at all um, as you can see they're getting a little bit wider so that's exciting um, so take them off wiggle your toes in between the exercises that you do and then that'll give you some a little extra space when you put put your uh, put your feet back in the shoes it'll be a little softer a little bit warmer so it'll stretch a little bit more to your foot every time you put them back on all right guys so drill number two really quick is just a box so it's a six by four and in the six by four all we're doing is we're dribbling right foot only inside outside inside outside up and then around as fast as you can inside outside inside outside inside dribble as fast as you can turn around so it's you're doing a loop and then a loop like that you're going to go five times back and forth so it's going to be pretty quick lots of tight touches so on the long sides you do the skill whatever it is right foot left foot inside outside whatever it is and then on the flat sides on these two sides on the short sides you go just a straight dribble as fast as you can with a little tight turn around the corner. So let's hop into it.
mannequin right behind where the camera is. I'm gonna dribble around the mannequin, make a move, come through, through the cones, and then play it to one of the two sides. Right foot first, going to the far post, then to the near post, and then we'll swap. Do left foot and all sorts of footwork through that one. This one, <coughs> excuse me, is freestyle footwork, so don't be worried about right foot, left foot, just go through the cones as quickly as possible. super quick is don't tie them super tight right away that might seem like a totally obvious one but I know a lot of people who tie them super super tight so they break in really quick do the opposite tie them kind of loose or if they're on your foot untied barely tighten the laces get them all done do the knot and then leave them like that and it'll stretch it out then you can tie it tighter as they stretch out get more locked up all right last little bit of drill before get into some just a little bit of juggling stuff so this one's gonna be a crossing drill uh, footwork and one-on-one -on -one, and then cross into those goals right there so I'll show you guys just a sec so here we go so there's the mannequin and I'm gonna go through these cones right here beat the mannequin down the line and then cross it left-footed into those goals So that is it for the training session. It's about 12.15 now, so I was out there probably about two hours, just over two hours. Um, lots of great footwork, which is kind of the, the point of this whole preseason stuff. I wanna get really good fundamentals down before I start doing a lot of team stuff. Obviously, start like December 1st, um, back with whatever team I'm with. That's usually around the time when teams start to get back into training here in Australia. So. If I end up in Australia next season, then that's when I'll be starting. So in about actually exactly 15 days. So very excited for that. Um, as far as the boots go, they are fitting really, really well. Tip number six. So the last tip that I would give you guys is go and do fitness in them because you'll start to think about your body being tired rather than your feet hurting, which I know is totally kind of sadistic and weird, but it does help. And then when you take them off and you untie them, they're soft. They're nice, ready to go, and I'll wear these tomorrow in the training facility when I go over to two halves and they'll be absolutely perfect. So that's like a session and a half that I've used these total and they're already basically broken in. So that's six tips for you guys that I use every single time I break in a pair of shoes. It takes me about two hours and then it's all set to go. So hope you guys enjoyed that training session. Feel free to comment down below which of those exercises was your favorite one and as well always open to video suggestions if you guys want a different look into what i do on a day-to-day -day basis or questions you want me to answer feel free to leave those in the comments make sure you like the video if you got value from it subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and as always guys be awesome i'll see you guys next time